Hey guys, what's going on? This is Francois with The Image Eye. I wanna tell you today why I think the Sony a7 IV is the perfect hybrid camera that you should be buying in 2023. So over the weekend, my friend came into Seoul from China and he asked me if I wanted to go out and take photos. He just got a hold of his father's Leica camera and we decided to go to one of the most famous temples or actually one of the most famous palaces here in Seoul, which is called Gyeongbokgung. Now that I'm doing this whole YouTube thing, whenever I go outside, I'm constantly thinking of like content to make. This would be a very good opportunity to get a, not, a lot of nice B-roll shots, a lot of nice photos to add to my collection. I was thinking, which camera should I take? Would I take the FX30? Would I take the A7S III? Would I take my Sony ZV-1? Would I take the Sony A7 IV? I decided on the Sony A7 IV. So me, I'm a photographer first. I'm always thinking about, okay, photos, photos, photos. So whenever I'm thinking of going out and which camera to bring in my bag. It's usually based on my mindset of photography first. My favorite camera in my entire collection. This is the Sony a7 IV. And the reason why I took this camera is because there is no other camera in my collection that I can take out and have confidence in. I can go out with the a7 IV and know that the photos that I take are gonna be good. And I can also get incredible incredible video quality out of this camera. I decided to take my a7 IV because I, I know that the quality of photos that I get from this camera are going to be pristine. I mean, it's got 33 megapixels, which is plenty enough to crop in for you know street photography, event photography, even wedding photography. If I need to switch over to the video mode, I can always rely on the down sample 4K video that comes from this beast of a camera. I mean, how can you get 33 megapixels and down sample, I think it's 6K or, or 7K video to 4K, I mean, in the same body, I mean, at a really, really affordable price. Okay, take a look at this very short video that I compiled from the B-roll that I took when I was at Gyeongbokgung Palace. Actually, I'm not that good at taking videos, I don't think, but you know, I'm, I'm getting better. I actually like that little, uh, you know, compilation <laughs> of shots. But yeah, the Sony a7 IV is the perfect hybrid camera, I think, because as a photographer, you're gonna need to have a dedicated photography camera that you can rely on, that you can have confidence in. It's one of the first things that I look for when I'm, you know, thinking about buying a camera, like, are the files going to be easy for me to access? Are they gonna be easy for me to you know, edit? If not, then what's the purpose of buying the camera? The Sony a7 IV, you don't have to worry about any of those things. Being a hybrid shooter, it is extremely important to be able to switch between photography and video. So the a7 IV has these memory recall dials here, one, two, three, that you can easily switch between your specific photography settings and videography or video settings uh, by switching these dials. However, sometimes, you know, it might be cumbersome, at least for me, with the cage on. There's a very simple way that I found to easily switch from photography to video while keeping the same settings for video and photography. Go to the menu system, scroll all the way down to setup, and in the setup area, you'll see if you scroll all the way down to operation customize and go to the right, you'll see a option for different set for still MV. So you click on that and you can see aperture, shutter speed, ISO, exposure, compensation, metering mode, white balance, picture profile, focus mode, all of that you should check. You check all of those options and you press okay. Now, when you switch between your photo and video mode, you'll retain the same settings from both settings. So you don't need to worry if you switch from photography to video, you will have to go back into photography and switch your settings back. That can be a hassle. So yeah, this, this makes the Sony a7 IV that much more enjoyable to use. So I love this camera. It's affordable, it's fun to use, it checks all of the boxes for photography that I need, 
and for videography. So if you're looking for a camera that takes photos very well and videos very well, you can't go wrong getting the Sony a7 IV. I highly recommend you buy this camera as I believe it is the perfect, perfect, perfect hybrid camera for hybrid shooters in 2023, possibly even 2024, who knows? Anyways, thanks a lot for joining me guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Please consider liking, comment, commenting and subscribing. It really helps the channel out a lot, it helps us to grow and it helps me to be able to make more content like this. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, I love you all, peace.